Welcome to Tech in the Car. I'm here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Let's talk about the McMurtry Speeding and how it broke the record at Goodwood at the 2022 Goodwood Festival of Speed. The McMurtry Speeling is an amazing electric car which just broke the record at the Goodwood Festival of Speed on the hill climb with a time of 39.09 seconds driven by F1 and IndyCar driver Max Chilton and it beat the VW IDR record. I drove the hill course earlier in the day on Thursday in the Lamborghini Huracan Evo and you can see my video on the channel. So I've driven up the hill climb course and not many people probably have done that. And I have to say, it is a really tight course. It's very, very short. Even in a car which isn't as fast as McMurtry, it still takes about 40-ish seconds. And it's over before you know it. The straw bales come up, the wall come up, and you're over the finish line before you even know what's happened. But I can only imagine what it was like doing it in the McMurtry Spieling. So the car is named after Sir David McMurtry and it's called the Spearling because that's Irish for a thunderstorm and that's because the sound the fans make when you turn them up. <laughs> and we'll talk about those fans in a second. So what's the philosophy of the car? The philosophy of the McMurtry Speedling is about what could the future of electric motorsport be? And the way to achieve high range of speed in an EV is about having to get the weight and drag down. So you basically have to shrink wrap the car around the driver. This reduces the frontal area dimensions, making an extremely slippery body shape. But even then you still need downforce for lap times because without downforce, the car's gonna go all over the place. So McMurtry created a fan-based downforce system like an inverse hovercraft that creates downforce without needing a huge wing which also creates drag and slows the car down and also drains the range and basically creates lots of reasons to slow the car down. So this fan sucks the car to the track and the car has no gears. How this works is there's a skirt which lowers down when you turn the fan on and it seals the air inside and then sucks it back out which is the reverse of a hovercraft. It has filters to clear all the air and get rid of the dirt so it doesn't litter or damage other cars. And those filters have to be changed when it's driving on a track. In terms of battery, it's got a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack and the battery is in the side pods and between the wheels. They're all around the driver. So the driver is safe and then they add the batteries around them. It's a twin motor rear wheel drive system with 1000 horsepower and you get full grip at zero speed so it can be applied straight away. That's how it can work with a rear wheel drive system with so much power. That's 1,000 brake horsepower per ton. If you think about a Porsche 918 Spyder, that produces 522 brake horsepower per ton. What this means is the wheels can spin up to 200 miles per hour in three tenths of a second on this car. And because the front wheels steer, it's a pure driving experience. But of course it needs active suspension because those fans are sucking it onto the ground. So it needs to have suspension to make it drivable and to give it that performance. <laughs> In terms of performance, it could do 0 to 60 in less than 1.4 seconds, even faster than that. 
0 to 186 miles an hour in under 9 seconds and its top speed is well over 200 miles an hour. The car is made from a fully carbon fibre design and it will be road legal. The lights need to be risen a bit and indicators added but eventually the McMurtry Speedling will be a car that you can drive on the track and on the road and it will be a one-of-a-kind hypercar that no one else has ever seen. Thank you very much everyone for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe. Thank you.